hello welcome back to my channel solving got easier today i'll be showing you on how to subdivide a parcel of land if you want to subdivide a boundary for mr a and mr b and you want it to be and you want it to have the same area there are some certain things that you need to do so i'll be putting you through on how to do that the first thing you do is to select the whole boundary to check the area. So here on my screen, let's assume this is the boundary of the parcel you want to subdivide for Mr. A and Mr. B. And you want it to be, you want it to have same area, same size. As I've said earlier on, the first thing to do is to select the wall boundary to check the area so in order for you to select the wall boundary to check the area what you do is you select the perimeter of this boundary and then you come to call your under your command here you press l i l i simply means list so you click on it and then when you click on it it's going to show you the area and the length so the area for the boundary is a uh, 300,712.764 that is the area for the boundary so let me just copy it out so that we can have it on our screen So this is the area for the whole boundary. Then after you are done selecting the area, so let's check for the next step. After you are done selecting the boundary, the next thing you do is to divide the area by the number of subdivision. Okay, if the boundary is to be divided into two, that is for Mr. A and for Mr. B. You divide it, you divide the area by two, that is 300 and something that I said earlier on divided by two. But if it is going to be for three people, that is for Mr. A, Mr. B and Mr. C. What you do is you divide the area by three. So for us to divide the area by the number of subdivision, what I'll be using is to divide it into two. That is for Mr. A and Mr. B. And it must be equal. So for you to divide this into two, what you simply do is that you locate your you locate polyline, you click on polyline. Then after I click on polyline, you draw out your polyline and you measure the length of this side. So the length for this side is a So the length for this side is 712137. That is the length for that side. And then for the for the other side, you also measure the the length. You also you also measure the distance for this other side. The distance for this side is
So the distance for this side is 759429. You simply divide the two distance, you divide it by two since we are dividing the parcel into two. So you divide this 759.429 by two. And likewise this one too, you divide the length by two since we are dividing it by two. But you know this one is just like a regular shape. It's just is like a regular shape with four corner shape but in a in a situation whereby it's not a regular shape what you do is uh you click on the boundary and then you make sure you you set the area you divide it into two you make sure the area fitting into same value if pathway is a uh, 204 you make sure pathway pool is also on 204 that is what you simply do so to, for since this one is a simple shape, is is got something easy for us to do. What we are going to simply do is to divide this length into two. Since we are dividing it for Mr. A and Mr. B, so seven one two point one three seven. That is for this side. Divide by two. It's going to give us three five six point zero six eight. So for this side now, I can delete this. I was only I only draw out that line to show you what I'm trying to say. So to draw out this length for this side, which is our the length for this side is three five six three five six point. 068 then you press enter likewise this side you do same thing for it the length for this side is a uh, three seven nine three seven nine point seven one five Then you press enter. So you escape again. Now then after you are done with the length for the two sides, then the third thing for us to do is number three is to adjust each of the subdivide boundary to obtain the same area. So what we simply do is to adjust the boundary to obtain the same area. The area we obtain for Mr. A must also be obtained for Mr. B. So now to work on that, since we've divided the area into two because we are concentrating on Mr. A and Mr. B. So what we are going to do is you click on on polyline and then you draw out this, you click on Change your change in direction at every corner. Then you press enter. So you now select the what you just highlight. You select the new polyline that you just drew out. Then you list it. You press L I to list out the coordinate and the area. Then you press enter. Now you can see the area for the new for pass to A is a one four four two zero two. That is one four four two zero two. One four four two zero two. And then I told you earlier home. This is the total area for the land. This is the total area for the land. So, which means we are going to divide this area into two. That is three zero zero seven one two point seven four six. 
So we must obtain 150,356.373 or something close out to this. So let me just copy this out. So we must obtain something close out to this. And then what we obtained was what? For the area for this side, what we have for the area for this side is 144,200, which means we need to adjust it inside. We are going to move it, extend the land. It's going to come in. It's going to come closer towards B because this is A. So we are going to make this uh, B. So it's going to come inside. We are going to move this line inside this parcel B to obtain 150 so for us to do that what we are going to do is to select this and then we adjust this now so we can check it again now we can check the new area that we just adjusted by coming to the command J, then you press list or you press li to show the coordinates and the area of the land so it's now 149 from 144 now it's now 149 and we need something of 150 356 so which means we are going to move it a bit So let's check this new area. Now it's now on 150. So it's on 150, 384. But we have 150, 356. So we can just adjust it a little bit to pass with A. L I N I. We need. So we need 150,356.373 and then we obtain what from here? We obtain 150,356.667 which is okay. Difference of decimal. So this person now, if we be able to obtain uh, the values, only difference is decimal. So let's check, this is for person A. So let's check the area for pass will be let's see what we have we are going to have so for that you click on your polyline as well and then you move you click uh, and then you click on the edges of your boundary and then you close back to your starting point so after you are done, you right click and then you press enter. So now let's list it out and see what we have. L I. You list out the coordinate of the area. You can see now for the pass will be we have 150,356.079. So that is how to do subdivision for parcel and you want to divide it into two you want to divide it into three it's the same principle that is what you simply do when you go to the description under my videos you will see links for, you will see social media links on the description on those social media links you can click on it to join the groups that is where you can ask your questions you ask questions pertaining to the to what uh, I thought. You can ask your question on the groups and you get a reply. Thank you.